over the past two weeks, I've actually been doing a game jam. My first one in almost a decade. And as some of you guys know, I have a full-time job, I make videos here, and I have other responsibilities, of course, of adult life, as I'm sure many of you do, but that doesn't mean you guys can't make a game yourself. So I wanna show you guys what I've made of the past two weeks, and hopefully motivate some of you guys to actually go out and try to make games yourself as well. But this is the action and main menu right now. Of course, everything is temporary. Everything is TBD, but it's called Spreading Crimson. And you'll see why shortly. It has a simple options menu with some graphics options. You can change quality settings. You can change the resolutions, window full screen, windowed. There's also a full tutorial section where you just have controls. We have power-ups in the game and a little gameplay loop explanation. But let's get into it. This is a kind of a hack and slash action game akin to uh, maybe a 2.5D Binding of a Isaac, where enemies, when they die, will drop a pool of blood, as you can see right there, and it kind of spreads out. And as it spreads, another enemy can go ahead and pick it up and they will get stronger and all enemies afterwards will also get stronger. So kind of an increasing difficulty, as well as when you kind of are progressing through the dungeon, every new room you enter will increase the difficulty of the dungeon overall. This kind of incentivizes you to actually pick up the pools of blood. Now, as you saw there, this guy here picked up the pool of blood and he actually got bigger. Now, that little flash there was from the power-up I picked up, that C. So there are power-ups here, and I can pick them up and, of course, get stronger to kind of keep up with the increasing difficulty of everything. The little orbs around that uh, spawn of enemies heal me a little bit, so I get a little bit of health back from absorbing the blood and uh, a little bit from actually killing these guys. Now. The pools of blood have a chance to increase my maximum health, but the little balls don't. So this is a knife throw, so I've unlocked the ability to kind of throw a knife. And I can stick it into things and use it to kind of jump off as well. So I can, I can jump onto it. And right now it's not really needed, but later down the line, once there's more verticality in the game, that can come in very useful to access areas you might not be able to. Now the plan currently is to actually get this game to be eight directional. So right now I'm using a 2D sprite and that is the plan to still keep 2D sprites for the characters, but I want to introduce eight directional movement and animation. And to do that, the plan is to do similar to how Dead Cells did it. And that was to go 3D characters and animations and then render out onto 2D sprites. So if you're not familiar, that is how a Dead Cells did their game. So I just picked up the KB and that's just knockback. So now when I hit, it kind of knocks back the enemies, which depending on your kind of play style and how you like to do things, you know, it could be good or bad. I do also have a dash attack. As you see right there, if I dash and attack during that, it's a very powerful knockback and a much more powerful attack as well. So I can use regular attacks, knockback attacks, and put it all together. Now, if I don't absorb this blood, and I wait too long, it eventually vanishes and the boss actually picks up the power from that. Basically, it is either you get it, the enemies get it overall, or just the boss gets it. And the boss will also increase in difficulty and in health, depending on how much you let him absorb. And the dash actually has invulnerability frames, so you can absolutely use it to get out of trouble. And this entire place is procedurally generated every time you, you do this dungeon. It will be a different layout with enemies that are different in different positions. So it has quite a bit of replayability, again, akin to kind of Binding of Isaac in that regard. Now, as I'm going through this, if there's anything that you guys are kind of interested in finding out how exactly I did it, how it's done in Unreal Engine, I'll be more than happy to kind of show you guys and explain it all. Just let me know in the comments below what exactly you would like to learn how to do, and I will more than happily show you guys. But we're kind of making our way through this place, and we're kind of looking for the boss room. And here it is. Here's the boss. Here's the big boss. He has a ranged AoE. 
and a melee attack that can hit very hard if you're not quite ready for it. Not clear I didn't absorb enough in this case, so let's go one more time through it and I'll try to absorb a little more, get a few more power-ups and see about taking him on. And here's the boss. He does have invulnerability frames so you can actually dodge out of the way of these guys. I'm trying to goad him to melee me. There we go. I was able to withstand one attack. You can see. This time, I didn't let him get as powerful by absorbing, having enemies absorb too much. So now I can go in and finish him off. And there we go. My final score is 2,128. That is now our new high score. And of course, I can play again if I so wish. So, but this game... It's uh, again relatively simple. It is a solo, two-week prototype for a you know potential game. If you guys are actually uh, enjoyed this and you are kind of interested in it, it is free to play. You can actually download it right now. A link to the itch.io page down below if you want to check it out for yourself. And again, if you have any questions about how any of this is done, please let me know. I didn't have time to record a tutorial for this week, so hopefully this is sufficient for you guys as I am right now visiting my dad for a surprise birthday celebration. And I'm surprising him by seeing him for the first time in over a year uh, on his birthday, so hopefully he enjoys that. <laughs> but again, check out the game if you're interested. If you have any questions, please let me know. And as always, thank you so much to the Patreons that help support what I do you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And if you want to join the community, the links to the Discord are also down below. So, if you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and then go check out this video right here that YouTube thinks you will enjoy the most.